Hi all, my name is Marco and I am the CEO and co-founder of Swipespec. Today I'm super excited to show you what we've been working on for the last couple of months. Swipespec is an AI-powered requirements management tool and a text editor specifically designed to meet the needs of business analysts, product owners and other roles involved in writing and maintaining product requirements. During my career as a product manager for the last almost 10 years, I've probably written tens of thousands of requirements. I tried all the tools, from Notion, Word, OneNote, Excel, all the way to super expensive tools like IBM Doors and JAMA software for which we were paying north of six figures in licenses fees per year. I even tried writing them directly into project management tools like Jira and Trello, and I tried writing them in notes and then copy-pasting them to where they needed to end up. I can talk to you for hours what each of these solutions got right, what they got wrong, but in essence none of these tools were good enough. There was always lots of distractions, clicking around poorly designed interfaces, clutter and bad UX patterns, and when ChatGPT came out it became more copy-pasting things between different tools and tabs. Probably a lot of you can relate with what I just said, and this is exactly why I decided to solve this problem for all of us by creating Swipespec. Right now it enables you to write documents and specifications, refine them and generate requirements as well as ship them to other tools as per your company's specific process. We are very quickly building new features, so soon you'll be able to version, review, link written items for more meaningful contextual specification. It also enables you to, with just a couple of clicks, send those written specifications to other tools like Jira and Trello where the rest of the company can consume them. This is great as it enables product teams to start using Swipespec without the need of approval of half the management team. The rest of your company doesn't need to change any of their processes. One of you guys just need to sign up, start using, get your team into Swipespec and boost your productivity when it comes to spec writing and requirements management. Now let's jump into a demo so I can show you what we have. As you can see, our interface is super streamlined, super clean. Uh, our users can organize their work into different projects. You can create project, rename project, delete project. And then once you are inside a project, your work is going to be divided into two sections. You have your shared documents and your private documents. Shared documents are shared between all team members within the organization. And then private documents are only your documents, so from a single user. I tend to use private documents like drafts, where before I'm ready to share my work with the rest of the team, I would keep a document in a draft. And then once I'm ready, I would just drag and drop it to share documents documents and then it's visible to all the users. Let me open a document that I'm working on. So this is a PRD document, pretty standard in, in product management, where I'm working on an item block editor, which is one of our future features. Something I wanted to uh, point out here is that the moment I start typing, hello, the UI goes even cleaner. So we remove all the distractions from, from the UI. So there is no menus, there is nothing there. It's just you and, and your document that you're working on. Uh, editor of choice, we went Notion-like, so you all should be already familiar with it. It's, it's rather practical. You have all the standard uh, text editor things that, that you would expect here. One thing that that is cool here is that wherever you hover, you have this Mr. Spec, which is our mascot and our resident AI. You can invoke him and it opens like a side chat and then you can uh, communicate to the AI about something that you selected in, in context. So let's say uh, rewrite this to be more serious sounding. So it knows already what I have selected and it knows how to change the tone of it. I can now accept, I can insert below, I can copy or I can ask it to regenerate. I will just accept this. So now this text is more to the tone that I wanted to use for, for this demo. One other thing I wanted to showcase to you is a special block that we have which is task block. So I created a task block. Let me change the name to user stories. Sorry. Stories. Okay. And then 
with this block, we created a standardized form, which you can just fill in to create smart items that we will be versioning. You'll be able to send it to Trello, Jira or other tools. But let me let me show you. This is the manual creation. So story one text of story one. And you can create as many of those as you want. But what's what's cool here, if you invoke AI here and let's share some knowledge with this AI. Again, this paragraph, I will say write user stories following Scrum standard for this new item block editor feature we are working on. In this chat area here, I'm able to uh, talk to my AI to give it as much context as I want. Say I, I'm on a meeting, we agree on something, I can come here, I can drop my meeting notes, I can copy chat here, whatever I want. But the magic is in this suggest with AI. If I click this, the AI will start suggesting these user stories already in this ticket format where I can read it through, say, yeah, I agree accept it and it immediately goes into the document i can quick edit i can say okay uh, not not modify I, we are using the word change and now accept it or if i completely think it missed the point i can just discard this completely i will now be able to also further communicate with ai generate more of them as you can see now they are here inside my document as part of the the flow i can collapse them if you don't need to read them all the time but these are the actual requirements that we will be developing against uh, later and the rest of the document is say for context let me demonstrate you the integrations so this block ticket block has the send button when you click this these are some of our current integrations. Let's say I want these user stories to end up in Trello. I can click Trello. We are pulling from the logged in user Trello all the workspaces. So this is my workspace. It is asking me for which board I want. Let's say I want demo board and then which swim lane inside my board, which I want. And I say, let's put this in backlog. I go continue. It will ask me, okay, which stories from these generated ones or written ones I want. And this one I don't want to end. This was this one was just a dummy one. So I will select these two, which are important. I click on continue. And as you can see, we go to export queue and my stories have been exported successfully with the status done to Trello. I here have quick links to Trello. So if I click on those, it will open directly my uh, ticket that I created from swipe spec inside Trello with a backlink back to swipe spec if I want to read more context. And as you can see in the swim lane backlog, I have these two stories that we just created. This is just the beginning for us. So as I said, we are going to introduce many more features and we are also building an AI agent that will be able to create the whole documents and templates and ticket templates uh, all for you. But then we are also making sure that human is always in charge and in the loop so that nothing that just plain AI generated ends up in your development if a responsible person did not accept that. Thanks for watching.